Welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So first of all, just me log in with your credentials and once you're done with that, come back over here. Just me search for the Vertex AI. Open this thing new tab. You will come back to this page and then just me click on this workbench. After that, just me click on this Open Jupyter Lab and this kind of notebook will be generated for you. Okay. Now just me click on this file name called Intro underscore Gemini. Just me double click over here like this way. Now just me wait. It will ask you to choose your kernel. So just me choose Python 3 as your kernel. Just me click on the select button over here. Now if you are using a Jupyter notebook for the first time. So for running a shell or pick and say command. You can just me click on this play button. Or you can just me hit shift and enter. Just make sure that your kernel must be Python 3. And it should be ideal. If it connecting busy that time you have to just me wait. Okay. Now just me come back over here. Click on the task number 1. Just me scroll down. And from here you can see this project ID and the location. So just me copy this project ID over here like this way. Come back. Just me scroll down over here. And from here you can see your project ID. So just me replace over here like this way. And here as well. Okay. Now for the zone. What you do, just me come back over here. From here, just me copy this location over here and just me replace over here like this way. Okay, make sure that there is no extra space after this thing. Okay, otherwise, you will face an error. Now, just me scroll up from here, just me click over here like this way. And now, what you do, you have to just me hit shift and enter till end like this way. Okay, now if you just me check over here and from here you can see the kernel status is busy. So you have to just me wait until it shows the ideal. And once it shows the ideal, after that you have to just me check the score for the lab. So now just me wait for a couple of minutes and after that we will check the score for the lab. And as you can see, it's done. Now what you do, you have to just me scroll up over here and just me check over here. If you are seeing any kind of error, as you can see, we are getting this kind of error over here. And I'm glad that I faced this kind of issue. So if you are also facing this issue, don't worry. Just me come back over here and rerun the shell again. Just me wait. And, and now if we just me check over here, this time we didn't get any kind of error. This thing might happen with you also. So you have to make sure that once you run all the shell, you have to just me check all these things carefully. That you are not getting any kind of error on the shell. So as you can see, I got an error, but I have to just me rerun that shell again. So it just me do the same thing over here again. Just me run all the shells like this way. Okay, now just me wait again. And it's finally done. Now again just me scroll up and again just me check the same thing. That you are getting any kind of error or not. So this time we are not getting any kind of error. Now if you just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for each and every task. You will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated for any particular task, no need to worry. Just me wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score over here for sure. So just me wait and watch. And as you can see, we got to score for each and every task. And in this way, we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys.